And more bad news for borrowers. Interest rates on student loans expected to reach a 16-year high. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez today sharing how some people are now navigating higher education and how families can best prepare for their students for life after high school. The interest rate on a federal undergraduate student loan is expected to climb to 6.5% in July. That would mark its highest level since 2008. I think it's insane. The rising cost of college and student loan interest rates has students like Amber Revere considering whether she'll continue college. I think it's crazy, um, at least for me. Uh, I am scared of how I'm going to pay it off. Student loan debt is a fear that forced Braden Suarez to pursue other options after high school. I really wasn't thinking much about college just because I didn't want to get in student loan debts. Currently, the interest rate of a new student loan is 5.5%. According to the founder of College Money Matters, on a 10-year student loan of $28,000 under the forthcoming rate, the borrower will pay interest of about $10,000, which amounts to a roughly 35% higher cost when compared with the student foregoing loans. We wanted to find out what conversations families should be having if college is still on the table for them, so we reached out to Florida College Access. We are a statewide organization uh, committed to increasing the percentage of our residents in Florida who have a post-secondary degree or credential. And we want to see that percentage uh, get up to 60% by the year 2030 because that's what the economy is going to require in terms of uh, labor market and, and talent demand. Executive Director Braulio Colon says families should really consider investing in saving plans like Florida prepaid and scholarships. It's the largest scholarship program uh, in the state of Florida. It's called Florida Bright Futures begin to look into what the eligibility requirements are for that scholarship. Now, despite a drop in applications, Cologne encourages families to apply for FAFSA, opening the door for Pell Grants instead of loans. Meanwhile, the National College Attainment Network says during the current academic year, roughly 35% of college students completed FAFSA. That's a decline of 13% compared to the previous academic year, suggesting some people are opting out of college altogether. I think if you're going to be something major like a doctor or a lawyer, college is perfect for you. You don't have to go to college to make something out of yourself. There's a lot of options out there for you. I think it's just finding who you are and what you want to do in life. In Tampa, I'm Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.